Here we make use of three ICs. Two ICs will be IC seven four one zero, and one IC will be IC seven four double zero. Now we connect the ICs. The IC seven four one zero will be connected next to each other, and the IC seven four double zero will be connected next to them. Now for the connections, we connect pin number two of the first IC to the J input. Pin number one of the first IC will be connected to pin number eleven of the third IC. This ensures that the output of the slave flip flop is connected back to the input of the master flip flop. Pin number three and pin number thirteen will be short and connected to the clock. Pin number four of the first IC will be connected to the K. Pin number five of the first IC will be connected to the input to pin number eight of the third IC. Pin number twelve of the first IC will be connected to pin number ten of the same IC. Pin number nine of the first IC will be connected to facet bar, which will always take a high value. Pin number 11 of the first IC will be connected to pin number 12 of the second IC. Pin number 8 of the first IC will be connected to pin number 1 of the second IC. Pin number 6 of the first IC will be connected to pin number 2 of the second IC. Pin number thirteen of the second IC will be connected to control that will always take a high value. Then pin number eight of the first IC will be connected to pin number one of the third IC. Pin number two of the third IC and pin number four will be shorted, and pin number two will be connected to pin number six of the second IC. The clock will be connected to pin number three of the second IC. And pin number three, four, and five of the second IC will be short. Pin number twelve of the second IC will be connected to pin number five of the third IC. Pin number three of the third IC 
will be connected to pin number 9. Pin number 6 of the third IC will be connected to pin number 13. Pin number 10 will be connected to pin number 11. And pin number 8 will be connected to pin number 12. Pin number 10 of the third IC will be connected to pin number 11 of the same IC. Pin number 8 will be connected to the output Q. And pin number 11 will be connected to the output Q bar. Pin number 8 of the first IC will be connected to pin number 1 of the third IC. Pin number 12 of the second IC will be connected to pin number 5 of the third IC. For all the three ICs, we need to connect pin number 7 to the ground and pin number 14 to VCC. This completes both the master and the slave connections. Now that we are done with the connections, we see the output. Switch on the power supply. We will set the value of J to 0 and the value of K to high. Then we see that the value of Q bar that we get is high and the value of Q is low. That means that the flip-flop is in reset condition. Now we set the value of J to high and the value of K to low we get the set condition that is the value of q bar is 0 and the value of q is high. Now we set the value of j and k both to high and we get a toggling condition that is the values of both q and q bar will be changing. When we set the value of j and k both to 0, we get no change in the output.